Hey guys, how is that? It's Mary and welcome to another episode of Zombie Apocalypse. So I'm just recording this right after I recorded the other one. Well, after I recorded the other one, I watched Has Been Hotel and then I recorded this one. And oh my gosh, it's so fun. But let's now go back into this. Last time, Sojin got sick and I don't know why I kept calling him Jiwon all throughout the episode. Um, so he got sick, but unfortunately there's no medicine available. That's why they wanted to go to a pharmacy in the same town. But Mark, right here, he said absolutely not. He tells them that it's absolutely reckless, so no, end of the discussion, so if this is over, he would like to get back inside where there's like a very sick person waiting for him. And Sami says that's exactly the thing, he's very sick and even vomiting, tells him that he knows better than anyone how much he needs the meds. And you can just imagine how stressful this is for Dr. Tre or Mark rather. On one hand, they need the meds because of Sojin. On the other hand, the risk of them dying. He can't just send these kids out there to die. Especially since we're dealing with zombies. Well, he could come with the children. He could drive for them. Also, a doctor coming along with them would ensure they'd bring back the right meds. But who would stay here? What if Sojin's condition worsens? And the kid they will be leaving behind wouldn't know what to do. Like, what then? Then suddenly, Kiara cuts in, telling everyone that they're just overcomplicating things. This could be a chance for us to move to. We could bring Jiwon with us in search of a pharmacy, like it would keep him safe and stable. And not only that, but we can also cover some areas to get the Gwangju. So technically, it's not a bad idea. So they just have to load some things. He tells them to do that exactly, like take all the food or at least like enough of it. And also like some appliances too, like rice cooker, soap, shampoos, toothbrushes. They cannot just afford to be sick at this time. And also make sure to pack fresh and clean clothes. Like there's just so much things to do, so much, so much things to pack. Even then, Mark calls everyone's attention, telling them to handle this one because I... Or he totally forgot Sojin in the bathtub. So here's what we'll be taking. Of course, we're gonna be taking the rice, even the rice cooker. Here are some pickled chilies, flour, even the frozen food. Or maybe we can just cook this right now because we don't have any cooler. This would only just go bad. But still, it would have been nice if we had a cooler from before, but there's no use thinking about that now. Like, it only irritates so many being reminded of those two idiots that managed to trick them back there. I'm not sure about the sauces, but like, here's another chicken and hominy soup. I don't know what that is. And even menodito? Pork and hominy? Oh my gosh, yeah, we gotta bring this one. Yeah, I don't really think that this is absolutely necessary. The sauces, the cheeses, the beans though. Crushed pineapples? We could totally eat this one. This one too will be necessary. And you've actually saved us so far. Yo, lasagna, spaghetti and meatballs, chicken noodle soup. More of it. Broth? Okay, yeah, we have to take this. Would it be worth it? I think clothes are good too, and blankets and soaps and dishwashing liquids. Plates, towels, weapons. This is like the most packing I've ever done. And I think I mentioned before, knives, they're just going to stuff them. At least like the three kids are going to stuff them on their own pockets. Almost forgot the towels that I laid out. And on this, we're gonna take this. Some clothes, blankets, of course, also the blankets. Even this, clothes, the bags. Oh yeah, this is where they've stuffed some of the food. This bag and also this. Wait, this would be helpful, I think. It's an electric kettle. Kiara, on the other hand, is worrying about the laundry. I guess it's just best to leave it here. To leave it here? God damn it. Um, it'll just be a pain, I think, to take wet laundry. So they both emerge from the bathroom with Sojin still looking so frail. Mark says that he already explained to him the plan and Sojin only feels sorry for making everyone worried and like rushing them. Like he is so not used to feeling this way. He's always been the one to take care of others so it feels a little weird being taken care of. He was always the one, he was always the one taking care of others so it feels a little weird being the one taken care of. But they tell him that it's not really a big deal. They're practically family now. Helping each other out is gonna be a thing from here on out. Well, it has been a thing like a couple of episodes ago but this makes it a little bit more official. So since they cannot bring this, they have a teeny tiny plan. 
will be feasting like kings with chicken nuggies, of course. Hopefully he would be able to hold it down. And while you're at it, just go take a bath, take a shower. And we can snack on this on the car. So he's just gonna put it on his inventory. It'll also be a waste if we did not cook the franks. So, ta-da! And yeah, they're eating again because they gotta fill up their stomachs. And yeah, they're eating again because they have just gotta fill up their stomachs. So they are all ready, they were able to gather everything, and now all that there's left to do is to quietly get down and like get to the car. And here I go for getting the comment shout out for the day. So this one is by Imani. You're absolutely right. I feel like there needs to be more like apocalypse alfies. I'm sure that there will be more in the future since this community is just full of creative people and deaths. Now that you mention it, I'm gonna open up that i'm kind of afraid of killing my characters like they're just my babies i have grown quite attached to them but i don't know i might change my mind later on it depends <laughs> so if you guys would want to be featured on our comments shout out just comment down your thoughts or suggestions on the comments below and i'll be choosing one random person to feature on the next episode okay so they stop because they're looking at the surroundings for now they see that there's no zombies right there and laugh and even write so they could actually pull this off without any much of a problem oh my god i'm so nervous for them there's no zombie around like i don't think so at least sojin also talks to jiwon for a little sec just to remind him of the gas that they left on the storage area of that convenience store he meant this one Maybe we can just pull the car around right there to make it easier for us, but they're just gonna store everything in here first. Wait, the car is so cool and cute! But he was about to get in the driver's seat, and of course he gets stopped because you're not feeling well, we might crash, let me just do this. And he also says, I mean Sojin says to Mark, that his foot is not even all healed up, so why should he be the one driving? And they just watch right here. Yara is even turned around because oh my god, they argue like old, like an old married couple. And then they're like, you guys know that some of us can drive, right? I can drive. I can drive a little. Kiara says a little bit. But no, they tell them no. They don't have their licenses yet. Like seriously, it's the apocalypse. Does anyone need a license? So they've finally agreed that it's going to be him until no one notices because it's too small until it grabs him by the sleeve he turns around confused oh what he doesn't get the chance to react because he's far quicker sojin just shot a zombie and normally this would be like for survival and stuff like it wouldn't even mean anything at the end of the day but this is a kid the kid that he wanted to leave alone because it seemed harmless on the other episode all three of them are just watching in shock. The gunshot obviously was loud, so they need to get out of here fast. He called out his name, but he wouldn't budge. That's why he was really like tugging him. Oh my god, there's even a zombie right there. Oh my god, they're slowly coming closer. But let's get inside now. Quickly, quickly. They've also managed to get this because they pull up here, effectively blocking this entrance and just letting someone open the door from here. That's why they were able to slip in. They thought about getting some more food, but there's nothing in here. Sojin is still shaken from killing that zombie kid. That's why they tell him to stay in the car because this will just be quick and they get down because they saw it, like the pharmacy. And since it's quiet, they went to it, trying to open the door when a paper was slipped out of the door. It reads, one bottle of water for an aspirin or ointment, three cans of food for fucking menstrual pads, five for vitamins, 10 cans for allergy and cold and cough medications, 15 for pain relief, and the list it just goes on. So basically, there's someone hoarding the medicine, and they're charging ridiculous prices to those who are desperate during these times. It's vile, it's disgusting, but very on brand with humans. Yeah.